so nice to finally meet you. Yeah. We have never met, and I'm a huge no. fan of yours and the show. I love the show. Same, and I'm a huge fan of Heads Up. Are you? Next time you're here, we're going to play Heads Up. Bring it, yeah. No, I have to see. All right, uh, let's talk about the most important thing that I learned about you today. You had someone, you commissioned someone to paint uh, a, a portrait of your cat. I did, yes. My cat, uh, he kind of looks like the Dr. Evil cat, but with hair. Um, and one day I was working on my computer at my house and I hear someone peeing in my toilet. And I'm alone, I live alone. And so obviously I'm alarmed because there's a very strange burglar who's decided to use my bathroom. Right. And so I, I, I leap up and I, and I throw open the door and I see this. I see my cat who is using the toilet. I didn't teach him how to do this. He just did this one day and surprised me. So I had to snap a photo and then um, I, I have a good friend, artist Taylor Wright, who painted this amazing picture of it, which now hangs in my bathroom. Right, obviously the cat did not pose for that. He didn't pose, no. no. He, um, we walked in on him, that's him going <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> like, so, he, painted, <laughs> he painted really, really fast. <laughs> that's the original photo. Yeah. Wait, this okay. Is, that's what I walked in on. So, so now does the cat continue to do that? Yeah, I, really. He just taught himself. Does I he just... know how to flush? I wish. No. You know, that's the only thing is, is when you walk in, you're like, oh, great. There's like cat litter on the seat and like, that's not fun. But that's amazing. Is that, a, it, it, now in the painting, it looks black and white. Here, it looks like it just came in from being homeless. Is that, <laughs> it, it's not as good looking as the picture. What? Is that a black and white cat? He's a black and white cat, right, yes. I don't know why I think black and white cats are more clever, but they seem to be. I, I think they are. They do seem to be more clever, and that proves it he's right there. He's kind of like a Batman cat. You know, he's got the mask and yeah. the cape and, yeah. No, he's a, he's a good looking cat. And the fact that he pees in the toilet is, I'm. He's a, he's a perfect he's, cat. He's a genius. Yeah, what's his genius. Name? What's his name? Smokey. Smokey. Yes, that's him waking me up in the morning. Did Smokey take that selfie? Was his paw? <laughs> Was his paw on the he other side? He set the timer I and see. then climbed behind me, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> Smokey, that's a great face. Yeah. Um, okay, so you live, uh, you and Smokey live in, uh, in Tennessee. Tennessee. And why Tennessee? Well, I'm from the South originally. I grew up in the woods. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so I wanted bears? to be with some bears, with some deers. Uh, and uh, I wanted to be close to home. And I had a son and, uh, who's four and a half now. And I kind of just was like, you know, you're gonna have two actor parents in LA. Let's go to the South for a while and give you some trees and some grass to run yeah, around in. Yeah, so. what a great place to grow up. Yes. Trees and grass, very yes. important. I'm very outdoorsy. I like to, I, I spend most of my time in the desert with cowboys. You know, it looks, yeah. it's a show, but we're really out there doing this and riding horses and shooting guns. Did you ride horses before you did the show? I did, I've been riding since, since I was a kid. Because if you've <laughs> seen the show, how many people have seen Westworld? Have you seen the show? It's, oh, yeah. so, I mean, you're you're on a horse and you're you're galloping and you're holding a gun and I mean, you have to really be good at that. My first day back at work, for season two, they asked me if I could ride a horse with no hands while shooting a rifle. Full that's speed. the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes, that was yeah. really me. That was not a green screen. It was full speed, though. That's pretty full incredible. speed. Full yeah. speed. You'd think they wouldn't let you do that for insurance purposes. That's what I kept saying. Like, <laughs> I like, kept going. You, you know, this is the first day, right? Yeah. You don't want to save this for the end. Are you but, killing uh, my character off or something? Right. Well, tell everybody, it's a very intriguing uh, concept. It's, uh, explain what is happening. Well, it kind of explores AI, uh, you know, somewhere in the not so distant future. And instead of these virtual reality worlds, they've literally built entire worlds and they filled them with these robot characters that don't know they're robots. So you can actually go and have an experience in the Wild West or, uh, you know, it's like a theme park. But of course, the robots become sentient and uh, start to rebel and take over, which is pretty much where we're gonna pick up in season two. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, uh, it's a really, it's a scary concept. I mean, that these people are so bored by playing video games or whatever, and they have enough money to go and pay and have these experiences, and some of them uh, not so nice. Yes, it shows kind of the darker side of, of humanity and, yeah. and what really makes us human at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. It's really good. The second season of Westworld premieres this Sunday at 9 on HBO.